Hey guys, this is Echo X. Um, sorry it's been a little while since I posted the last video, but I've been pretty busy, so as I had some time today, I decided, well, let's get started on this video because it's going to get a lot more difficult and it's really advanced on this part. Um, so I wanted to go over as many times as I can. So this will be the first part, and like I said, I'm just going to go over as much as I can. So the beginning part right now is not going to be a lot of code. It's going to be explaining how to do such and such. And then the next part will show in code how to do it. And then from there on you should understand how it works and be able to do your own stuff. So um, we're going to be doing the windsock today. Um, how to have your own server with a, uh, a chat room. And then as I sh talk about how the data is transferred, then you can program your own games where you're, you're telling you're doing something on one screen and it sends data to another screen and then the person can see movement. Um, so what we're going to do is go ahead and start with the standard exe. Hit OK. And I'm going to just go ahead and uh, talk about we're going to get the um, component. Now it's called a component because when we add the component it's going to be right here on the left and it's going to be a windsock controller. So we need to go ahead and get that. Um, another thing I need to mention is you want to make sure you have Service Pack 6, yes, uh, Visual Basic 6. If you do not have that, you need to upgrade your Visual Basic 6 to Service Pack 6. The reason being is there's a glitch in the windsock controller. Now, when you do uh, multiple windsocks, which is called a control array that we're going to be using, um, for some reason it doesn't work properly but Microsoft made a fix for this but it's only in the Service Pack 6 you have to download that and fix your Visual Basic 6 if you don't have Service Pack 6 so we're going to go in here to components and I made sure I explained that so that people know alright so we'll go in here uh, Winsock Controller 6 see how it says Service Pack 6 right here let's go ahead and hit that hit apply and hit close now I have it here in the bottom left and we can go ahead and draw it. Okay, now here's where it gets a little weird. Um, for every windsock controller you can have a connection to another windsock controller. So we can make this program twice open and connect one form window to the other. Um, but what if we want a server where there can be multiple people connecting to just one location? This is where you need the control array, and on the server, it's going to have to have multiple winch socks. Okay, it's going to have to have one, two, three, however many people you want. Um, you can technically do almost an, uh, an unlimited amount if you know what you're doing, but uh, I think servers are better at. 256 I wouldn't go any higher than that um, depending, depending on your internet connection too I don't think you want to probably go higher than 16 people um, but what we're gonna do is here we have the windsock controller and it's called windsock 1 and you can see down here we have TCP or UDP UDP um, the data doesn't arrive in the same um, order so what's going to happen with that is you usually use that for like file transfer you can do file transfer with TCP too but it really the one I'm going to be showing is TCP because I don't like to put stuff back in order um, you'll notice a lot of video games are done with TCP everything's in order because they happen that way if if someone was to die they should die at that moment or when they get the message if you had to get the message and remove it with all the other data it would get yeah it wouldn't really work um, so we're going to stay with the TC TCP protocol. Now, let's try to remember here. The, this is a port, and this is the um, IP address, I believe. Let's go down. I was just checking to see. And then here's the index for how many control arrays we're going to have. Okay, so that was simply just going over that part. That's not very much information. Um, there's also on here it doesn't show but there's a local a local port oh yeah it does show the local port and there's a local host I believe um, but you can only get that information let's go ahead and try view code 
and let's try it right now local IP there it is um, that's only going to give you the IP address locally so if you're on a router it's only going to give the local address maybe it's 192.168.1. whatever um, so to get let's say the uh, public IP address it's a little bit more difficult you have to write some code that that taps into the router finds the public IP address there and then you have it um, we're not going to be going over that today so uh, here I'm going to explain now what it's going to look like okay so we've got our server right here try and move it and there's our one windsock if we're a client and we're building the client application we only need one windsock because we're only cl connecting to one um, person which is or one thing that's just the host the host however has to have multiple so let's go ahead and write this down to remind ourselves client only really needs one windsocket host needs multiple windsockets now if you're only doing one computer to one computer you really only need one windsocket for the host and one windsocket for the client but we're not going to go over that because again this is multi clients we're going to be doing to um, as many as we want and we just don't want to send one message to the other person we want to do we can have maybe three people enter the same room oh that would be awesome instead of just one person can only enter how much fun is that you know not that much fun so what we do here now is we we write the client to connect to an IP address to connect to an IP address we have to know what the IP address is so you're going to have to know your IP address for your server it's usually just the IP address you have but if it's a router IP address which is a private something like this let's say 12 or whatever that will not work unless you're going to do LAN which is the local area network 